Okay, I'm finally on. <laughs> Hi, welcome in, beautiful. Um, my name's Tony Parker, and I'm here today to introduce myself um, in regards to my broadcast. The broadcast I am doing is Grow in Him. Hi, welcome in. Not having a good start here. <laughs> yes, um, so what, what I want to talk to you about, um, first of all, I just want to say happy birthday, Princess. Mm. It was beautiful this morning to be part of your scope and to meet your, your, the king. Welcome in. Hey, Cassica. So, yeah, that was very exciting to meet the King. I've never been in such a place of privilege, so that was pretty exciting. Um, and it's just been fun to see all the things going on. Hey, hey mm. Tessa, you got a new name. Mm. <laughs> Sneaky one. So, yeah, so it was really beautiful just to meet the King this morning. Thank you. Um... Yeah, that was really encouraging to me. I um, also the um, keep an eye out in the World Change of Sister Book Tribe on Facebook. We've still got a lot of events to come. Yet we've still got uh, an auction coming up. Um, we've still got some songs, so please keep your eyes and ears out because this week every day there'll be something new, exciting dropped into the board. So. Make sure you're active and make sure you help help us to support to get this enrichment centre for Nigeria. You know, it's a pretty important thing, you know, education for the children. So, yeah, I've been very busy getting ready for it. <laughs> so, now, what a, a bit about my what I plan to bring. I was praying about last night and I was actually given a scripture which I thought summed up what I was talking of. Psalm 34. I bless God every chance I get. My lungs expand with praise. I live and breathe God. And if things aren't going well, hear this and be happy. Join me in spreading the news. Together, let's get the word out. God met me more than half ways. He's freed me from anxious, anxious fears. Look at him. Give him your warmest smile. Never hide your feelings from him. When I was desperate, I called out and God got me out of a tight spot. That scripture really sums up what I want to do with here. I want to, you know, continually, as he teaches me things, to bring it to and share, share praise, some time for prayer. Because, you know, we've all got to grow in him. And it's very important that we, you know, give him our praises and we give him our prayers and just spend time with him. And so each week, and the first one we're going to look at, Yes, that's the message version. Yeah, I like that one too. So, yeah. And the first what we're going to look at is coming from a person who has come from a lot of self-esteem issues. And I know many housewives also struggle with this issue. We, we really struggle with who we are. We lose our identity, it seems to be, even though that's not the truth. So the first thing... Hey, Tanika, welcome in, honey. The first thing that we're going to look at is knowing who you are in Christ. Because if you know who you are in Christ, it doesn't matter what you're doing or where you are in your, in your journey, He will meet you there, regardless of, of what it is. And when you know who you really are in Christ, there's a freedom in that. You know, you're not second guessing yourself. You're not thinking you're ugly because you know that Jesus said you're beautifully and wonderfully made. You're made in His, uh, His image. You know, if you're not told these little things about yourself, you don't know them and if we can hear them then we can begin to confess them you know but if we don't know what he says with or what is available to us you know like we have the mind of Christ and things like that um, so they're the things we gonna look at I have the peace of God that passes all understanding um, so yeah that's what we're going to the first lot we're going to look at anyway I don't know what's gonna come next but I know he will show me when the times come so that but yep yeah, so first off we're going to find out 
bit more about knowing him knowing who we are in him you know it's a, such a special place to be you know there's no no condemnation there's no guilt when you are being yourself which is how we're made we don't need to keep up with the media we don't need to be caring about what tries our dress sizes are and let's guys put it in your heart we don't need to be these skinny stick things all lo looking the same like barbie doll because that's not got, not how god made us you know and we can have his joy regardless of whether we're in the workplace, whether we're in the home, or where we are. We can have his joy whatever we're doing on a daily basis. So, just to tell you a bit more about me, um, some of the things I've been through that my, my teachings will come from is my personal experience. I'm a bush girl. Uh, I've been homeless, living in a car for nearly six months. I've um, been through serious depression, I've been raped, I've um, been infertile, I've been um, chronic pain, I've been a mother and a homeschool mum and, um, and I'm passionate and so yeah I'm a bush girl, <laughs> true and true I was a Jillaroo till I married my husband so yeah I rode horses, drove cattle, drove sheep, that's me I'm a bush girl. I live in the city now, but yeah, you can't take the bush girl from us. So yeah, so that helps you understand a bit more about me. And so, and like, the one thing that I'm really passionate about, thanks Tessa, is, you know, God puts us through these for a reason, you know, and anywhere through any of the, my broadcasts, if you have a question, or you need a prayer, you need encouragement, if you're struggling, sing out please we can pray right there and then we do not need to be in a place of struggle you know we're there for each other so reach out you know it, this broadcast will be as only as much as we all put in so you know interact you know we can give feedback we can grow we can stretch an idea out more if everyone's putting their input in and you know and then we can have a communication with God and a fellowship yeah we were all created differently Tanika and that's what makes us beautiful you know, the world would be pretty boring if everyone was like me. Oh, boy. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's, it's just what makes us who we are. You know, God made every one of us uniquely. And that unique was for a purpose. And so we've got to embrace who we are. Embrace what we've been through. You know, our messages are his messages. And, you know, he will use everything that we've been through, that every trial that we thought was trouble... He will use it for our benefit, for his benefit, because he, he's not a silly God. He's been watching everything we've gone through. Talk about walks in the Southlands. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's just encourage, you know, it's just, you know, we're here to encourage each other. You know, I know often as a mum, especially if you've got young children, you can get really beaten down and whipped out. You know, and those mothers and childhood um, and homeschooling, chronic pain, they're some of my main passions. So I know they will be touched on probably a fair bit because that's what fires me up. And, you know, I know as a mother that we do get beaten down. Life does get on top of us. So, you know, so if you need you need encouragement at any time I'm there so you know come on let's all have fun and let's enjoy just being a woman you know God made us that beautiful that different he knew we had that special purpose he couldn't make us the same as he made everything else everything else he just spoke but us we were made different because we had a different purpose he removed our rib Adam's rib for us then he spoke into being and he breathed into it because he knew the calling on our lives, you know. That's why he made us different. So, you know, let's embrace our womanhood. Let's embrace who we are. Let's grow to our fullness in him. And that's what I plan to do with this particular uh, broadcast, you know. Because every one of us has got a special purpose. Every one of us is important to God. It doesn't matter where you are in your faith walk. If you're a baby Christian, still dirty, still lost, still confused, 
He loves us right there how we are. He loved us from when he placed us in the womb. He knew we were going to go off track. He knew all that. So do not feel that you, you can't come to God because yes, you can. And he wants you to come to him. Doesn't matter where you are in your journey, where you're in your life. If you're hungry, if you're broke, if you're lost, if you're scared, if you're unsure of the future, know he is your answer. And he has everything we need. All we have to do to ask. And you know, even if we don't know how to pray, he will meet us where we're at. You know, he's a, he's a good God and his grace extends to us for a reason. And so with that, I just want to, um, yeah, so I hope that gives you a bit of an idea of what's coming with my broadcast. I am excited to see you each week. I will be coming on on, now let me think, your Tuesday at 5.30 Central Standard Time each week. Uh. And we will have an hour show. I don't know what we'll cover or where we go, but God's got the hands, not me. So that is where we're going. And let's all reach our full potential in God because I'm growing every day. You know, we don't stop growing where we're at. Awesome. Thanks, Tessa. You know, we grow, even if we've been a Christian for 30 years, your growth doesn't stop. Every day is a new day with new learnings. And so, you know, but if we're putting in the word and put it, applying it to our lives, every day we've got to continue to grow. And to me, that excites me. You know, I love God so much. I have a yearning in my heart that it nearly hurts, you know, because I just so much want to be with God. I just so much, I just can't stop praising him and worshiping him. Because, not because of just the things he's done in my life, but because of who he is. And the things he can do and wants to do. You know, his heart gets my heart on fire. You know, he wants to see every one of us girls, every one of us women, walking in our callings. Walking and being the best we can, you know. He doesn't expect you to be like me or me to be like you. He wants us to be us. And so, yeah. So, I hope this blessed you. And now... The next train in the glory train, we've got Tiffany coming on at Tiffany Jones at 7.45. And she's going to be talking about cooking. Sorry, Tiffany, I forgot your show. But, yeah. So, that's what I come on to do. And, yeah. So, have you got any questions? Thanks, Tessa. You're beautiful. Well, Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for today, Lord. We thank you for the broadcasters, Lord. We thank you for Princess. We thank you that we are walking in you, Lord. And we thank you that we can grow in you and that you are our teacher, Lord. Father, Lord, and I just pray that every one of the broadcasters come on, Lord, that they don't have as much trouble as I did, Lord. Just, Father, help them, help each one of us, Lord, to do it as we, we learn the ropes, Father, Lord. You know we're trying, and Father... It's just because you're a great God that we still can come and be with you, Father. I just thank you, Lord, that you are all-powerful. You are almighty. You are all-worthy. You are all-omponitant. You are our Jehovah Rapha. You are our Jehovah Halloween. You are our Jehovah Ori. You are our Jehovah Sherub. You are our Jehovah... You are our Jehovah. You are... Oh, that I am that I am. And, you know, Lord, in you, all things are possible. In you, nothing is out of your realm. In you, we can have joy. In you, we can have peace. In you, we can have love. In you, we can find joy and peace, even in the worst troubles. In the worst troubles, Lord, you have the next step for us. If we just look at the next step, there's a peace. If we look too far ahead, that's when we stumble and fall. Or we look back to the past, Lord. Just help us just to keep our eyes on you. To take the next steps that we need to do. Each and every one of us in the world sister tribe. World sister tribe. World changes sister tribe. And the world brother changes brother tribe, Father Lord. 
I just call a special blessing down upon each one of the members there, Lord. Father, Lord, continue to grow them in them. Father, Lord, continue to anoint each and every one's family and pour your financial blessings down into every single one so they can walk out the callings upon their lives. I pray this in your mighty name. So, yeah. So, thank you, everyone. And that's I better get off so that is everyone else can come on not there's anyone after me so but my 15 minutes is all but up so thank you and god bless bye see you on tuesday